One question I get more than anything on this YouTube channel, people either send me emails or message me on Facebook or whatnot, is uh, there's always an interest there in, in uh, how you obtain timber and logs and such. And I don't buy them. I mean, I've bought them a few times and I'll probably buy a few more. But uh, I try not to buy them if I can help it because there's so much timber out here and so many trees, at least where I live, that end up in the landfills and up in the burn piles that you just get out and look for them. You can save a lot of them and get them for free for, you know, 95% of the time. Now, there's, there's a few instances where somebody will have a real nice black walnut tree they cut down or some nice walnut logs or maple or something and they're wanting some money for them. And that's understandable as long as they're not full of metal and uh, the really good logs, I don't care to pay for them. But most of the time, I try to get them for free if I can. And uh, a lot of people email me and ask me how you get your timber for free. And uh, here's a few ways you do it. And the one way I'm doing it is right now this morning. Is, uh, wherever you live at, make friends with a few realtors. You may already know them already. I know a few people in this town that sell, sell properties. And uh, let them know you're always looking for free logs and trees. And uh, a lot of times they'll call you with somebody that's got some land for sale or a house for sale that's had a tree fall over or they just need it cut down to make the property look better to sell and they'll, and they'll give it to you pretty much. As long as it ain't something that's not usable, it's, it's, it's uh, most of the time a good deal. base of the tree there is this lens laying everywhere I'm gonna clear some out to get a measurement and uh, the diameter breast height on this walnut tree is right at 24 inches and there's nothing that I can see as far as real noticeable defects at all for about nine to ten feet there's a limb right there that fell off a long time ago this slide looks like about nine or ten feet here of some clear wood I'm hoping we'll some, I'm hoping for some very uh, very tight growth rings and not a lot of sap wood in this either, but you never know what grows out in the field like this. It's right here beside of a creek, as you can see. I'm going to try to fail it the other way. I'll be working out of a creek if I can help it. This is going to be an ideal walnut log if it's nice and solid. As you can see as I pan up, it's going to be a good clear log. I should get four or five saw logs out of this total. A few of them having some crotch in them. I'm gonna watch my step all around this thing. Groundhog holes. I mean, they're everywhere out here in this field. How about stepping one already? I gotta be careful after I cut this thing not to step back and fall in one. So we'll get the camera set up now and get this thing put on the ground and hopefully we're gonna have a nice surprise when we see the end grain. Hopefully it'll be like Christmas.
right, guys, here's the one that's already fell over. Of course, it uprooted. You can tell the root ball right there sitting up out of the ground. It was a pretty good sized walnut tree here. This one will just cut up in different log sizes and haul out of here on the trailer. As you can see right there, it was all kind of, it was growing on, this is really rocky out here in this field, and it was growing right on top of these rocks. It might have been part of the reason why it fell over. It didn't get, have a good, uh, good hold on the ground. Because there's plenty of walnuts on the ground and a lot of signs of, uh, of leaves from last fall. So this, this tree looked pretty healthy and the canopy is pretty intact. So here we got the base of the tree. So it comes out. And right there, it double barrels out into two different main logs there. So uh, we'll get some nice crotch feeder out of this bottom log. It'll probably be about five feet in length where I cut it. Be some nice crotch slabs out of that and it branched out we'll get several logs out of both of those probably about five in total definitely worth the effort here trees like this is definitely what it's all about because if i didn't come in here and save this tree and turn it into some nice slabs and wood to be made into furniture and other things and this thing would just lay here and rot or somebody come along and just push it up the brush pile and burn it it's just a shame. That's why I like to get these ones like this and save them. Will they end up in the landfill or just go up and smoke pretty much? If you watch this video this long, hit that like button because that really helps the channel. And I've been trying to grow it here lately. I'm, a, I'm almost 2,000 subscribers. And uh, so hit that like button if you don't care and share this video around. Maybe I'll get some more uh, views and subscribers from it. Let the channel grow a little bit. Anyways, this is a nice tree here. We'll get some good wood out of it. It's not a lot of effort to go out here and get these trees. Chainsaw and a trailer and a winch, and you can, you can manhandle them with a winch and get them up on your trailer and get them home. I could bring the bobcat out here, but it's kind of wet, and I'm surrounded by a creek bed on three sides. So I don't want to get out here and get that thing stuck. So I'll probably just be harvesting these with the trailer and the winch. Anyways, these are definitely worth the effort. Probably in the video right there. I'll come back in a few days and do an update here and start pulling these things out with the winch. I'll use the more power puller to pull them out with the trailer. And uh, we'll come back and go over in the forest and bring the ATV arch and harvest the other walnut tree. I've got plenty of oat to harvest right now, but when walnut comes along, you kind of stop what you're doing because it's uh, there's plenty of oak around. The walnut trees are not. Now, there's a lot of them here in Tennessee, but there's no guarantee they're going to be here forever. And there's a lot more oak trees than there are walnut trees. So. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video.